there's a pretty good chance your dog will get injured at least once or twice in his life. Dogs are often adventurous and some are even fearless. Most dogs explore the world barefoot and uninhibited. Unfortunately, the world is full of things that can harm your dog. Accidents happen to your best to be prepared for them in advance. Whether minor or serious, it's scary to see your dog get injured. Be sure to seek veterinary attention as soon as possible after an injury occurs. Keep your vet's phone number and an emergency vet phone number nearby so you can call for advice and assistance. Depending on the severity of your dog's injuries, you may need to administer first aid. Even if everything seems fine, it's important to take your injured dog to a veterinarian for an assessment. Here are some of the more common injuries seen in dogs and how to deal with them. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. Exclamation mark. 1. Major Trauma. Trauma is one of the most common medical emergencies that affect dogs. Major trauma can cause multiple injuries to the body, both internal and external. Being hit by a car is a frequent cause of major trauma in dogs. After getting hit by a car, many dogs suffer head trauma, bone fractures, joint dislocation, internal injuries like bleeding and organ trauma, skin wounds and more. Falling from a height or being in a car during an automobile accident can also cause traumatic injuries. To prevent these type of traumas, be sure to keep your dog on a leash when outdoors and never allow him to roam free. Use a gate or another barricade if you have a balcony and avoid leaving windows open when you are away. Keep your dog safe in the car by using a restraint. 2. Dog fight or attack. If your dog is in a fight with another dog, both dogs may sustain serious injuries. Generally, dog fights and dog attacks cause wounds to the skin and soft tissue. These wounds range from minor to severe. A dog's teeth cause puncture wounds and lacerations to the skin. Deep wounds may affect the underlying tissue, including the muscles, body wall, and even bones. Although many dog bites occur on the neck first, they can happen on any part of the body. Injuries of varying degree can affect the head, limbs, chest, abdomen and more. Small dogs tend to have especially serious injuries after being attacked by a larger dog. If your small dog has been picked up and shaken by another dog, there may be neurological damage or internal injuries. 3. Eye Injury Eye injuries are fairly common in dogs and can happen for a variety of reasons. Many dogs injure an eye when running through and around plant life that brushes the eye. Sometimes, a dog's eye becomes injured when a cat swats at him or he gets into a dogfight. Another common cause of eye injury is when a dog hangs his head out of a moving vehicle. The debris from the road and air can get into the eyes, causing abrasions. If your dog has an eye injury, you may notice squinting, excess tearing or other eye discharge, redness, bulging of the eye, and or swelling. Eye injuries can quickly turn severe, so be sure to see your vet at the first signs of an eye injury. If caught early enough, many eye injuries can be successfully treated with medication. 4. Cruciate Ligament Injury Injury to the cruciate ligament is one of the most common limb injuries seen in dogs. The cruciate is a stabilizing ligament in the knee. When it ruptures or becomes injured in another way, it causes knee pain and instability. Most dogs will hold up the leg when the cruciate ligament is injured. Some will put a bit of weight on the leg, but most cannot put full weight on it. Only a veterinarian can determine if your dog has a cruciate injury. Dogs almost always need surgery to repair a ruptured cruciate ligament. And most dogs who rupture the ligament in one leg, will eventually go on to injure the ligament in the other leg. Fortunately, there are several surgical options available, and the success rate is favorable. 5. Other injuries to the limbs. There are a number of injuries that may affect your dog's extremities. Most of these will cause limping. The severity of the limping usually tells you if you need to see a vet right away. After doing an exam, the vet may recommend radiographs, x-rays. 
Limping might be caused by a fracture of one or more bones in the legs or paws. Major fractures and joint dislocation usually look fairly obvious. However, minor fractures may not be as clear, especially hairline fractures that affect small bones or bones that are not supporting a lot of weight. A fracture is treated by stabilizing immobilizing the broken bones. This may be achieved by placing a splint or cast point 5 or, surgery and placement of a pin or plate might be necessary. Your dog could have a soft tissue injury in the leg sprained or strained a muscle. This often happens if your dog lands wrong after jumping or overdoes it while running playing. Treatment usually involves medication and rest. More serious soft tissue injuries may require surgery. If you suspect your pet is sick, call your vet immediately. For health-related questions, always consult your veterinarian, as they have examined your pet, know the pet's health history, and can make the best recommendations for your pet. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.